Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine. Fine, fine. Today is I, I, I was I was listening. Today is Thursday with face of Friday. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> I love it. I love it because I tomorrow is free free day. Yeah, well, not for me. I have to work, but for almost for everybody. Yeah, not for me. Believe it or not, I have to work. I'm a teacher, so I have to work. We have like, uh, uh like um, how so independent. Uh, I mean, independence uh, festivities. Okay, we have tomorrow. 
but even <clears throat> it's not a normal day. So uh, that's why I'm happy, kind of happy, because I think so that maybe uh we well some of you are going to have like uh going to have are going are gonna have a day off, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just wait then for your classmates, okay? Okay, classmates. We can do it. No, it's okay. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. how are you today? Uh, hi, mister. Hi, I'm mister. fine. I'm doing well. I feel good. And tomorrow, are you going to work? Yeah. We are going to have a day off. Excellent. Yes. Until Monday, we are going to go work again. So good. Yeah, that's good. That's why we are happy. I you think all of, we, all of we feel happy. Excellent. I think so. I was talking to Mr. Guzman that today is uh, Thursday with the face of Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's good to hear. Yeah, uh, my my friend Mr. Robert Guzman is gonna go to a, uh, to a nightclub maybe at night. So, yes, I think oh so. Oh my he, god. So he, uh, he, you, you can do. imagine that he's going to start today. Yeah, he's <laughs> going to start today and he's going to finish it doing that on Sunday Sunday nights, maybe uh, Sunday. very drunk. Sunday's eleven o'clock, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Near to the eleven, to the... almost close to midnight. Come on, Robert yeah. Guzman. <laughs> she likes to have a, a lot of beers. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey, please, Dara, that's the private life of Mr. Guzman. <laughs> hey, it's my friend. I think he don't get mad at me if I, <laughs> I'm telling you this type of thing, you know. Uh, oh, I mean I... He, I drink, I I drink beers and whatever, whatever. Yeah, I that's I like. I, I like it. I like it too. Don't he's the one that likes. after. I mean, he's the one that after yeah. the class of Friday, he goes to the discos. Yeah, we had to go dance. We had to go have funny after be stressing the whole week. We <laughs> deserve it. I think we deserve it. What do you think about? <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your life for me. Yeah, you we to, it. Yeah, I mean, we after we must after, to after, have fun, after, yeah. after uh after I mean after a hardest week. I mean, I mean after a hard the hardest day, and I mean I don't know what what kind of pressures do you have? You need I mean, you need it. Yeah, and it's a stressful, whole, relaxed activity. <laughs> yeah, during the day we got headache, bro. That's really awful. That's we it. need to have pills to you know we we need to recharge i mean you need to recharge i mean that's it recharge the bat the batteries yeah that's that's what i wanted to say that's okay. why i like it <laughs> <laughs> okay i got it after like uh i don't know i mean like uh, a nice conversation that i have had so good evening for everybody i'm happy to see you here today is Thursday, today is our class number 12. And uh, as I was telling to Mr. Robert Beltran, today is uh today is Thursday with a face uh, with face of Friday. It means I think so that you have seen the the advertising or the ad on your WhatsApp group that indicates that tomorrow we are not gonna have classes. Okay. So it means that you have you are free since today okay since today at nine o'clock just the one who is going to stay with me at nine o'clock you can take your classes and you can go to the disco i don't know go to the to the beach i don't know and you can see the down there i don't know i mean you have you have you are free you 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 are free to do 
those kind of activities that you need to to come back on Monday, I mean, again, with the energy. So, but meanwhile, meanwhile, we can do that. This is another day for you and me in the paradise, okay? English paradise, English corporativo, giving always Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, sponsored by INSA for Kids. And here we go. Let me see. Uh, let me ask you something. So let me, uh, I have this exercise. I mean, let me see. Yeah. The set document word paint. Okay, document word. I have this. That this is. I have this to complete. This is just the image. Okay. Do you prefer doing that online to start that? Like the exercise that we did the last time? Uh huh. What do you think? Uh huh. Let me let me check it out on WhatsApp. No, I mean, ah, okay. Did you share the the enlace? No, that's why I'm asking you. Uh, I don't, I don't, I ain't got problems. You, if you wanna do it like that, I don't have problems. Uh huh. What do you think the other one? Uh huh, guys. What do you think? Hello, hello. It's too long. I don't know how long time it's gonna take. Maybe by the time. So let's gonna do something. We are gonna do it right now. Ah, Roberto Guzman says link. Uh huh. Online teacher. Yeah. Online. Yeah. Ah, okay. It means that I will be speaking here. Okay, online. It's there here. So it's there. Remember that you cannot share by the screen, okay? You are going to do by yourself, no? Let me see. Okay. Online. That It's there, guys. Please don't take too much time because you have like 10 minutes to do it. You have there. I will be here just monitoring. If you have any question, you can do it by the chat or even orally, but you cannot share, okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Nice exercise, teacher. <laughs> That is an example of how you can do it. Okay, in this case, I think we are gonna improve our hands writing or, or... I mean, it, it is about past affirmative, the topic that we were studying yesterday. But we have to write down it. Yes, you have to write down as my example. In this case, you have to write down the verbs. Only the verbs or the whole sentence? No, the verb, just the verb. Okay. The first one, you have to match the verb and the simple past. And after you have to write down the verb and at the end, uh, you have to choose the correct option. Uh-huh. You have to, you have to click on and you have to say, I place, played, played. Exactly. There is a, well, good evening, everybody. There is a link there you are working on, okay? Miss Sensente, there is a link there. I wanna paste again the link here for the one who has co who is coming. Mm. 
you can uh -huh, you can comment i mean you can ask me something but like you cannot um, share on the screen fine yeah. if you have any doubt you can do it Work. i mean just the right. only point is that you cannot Shoot. drink sleep eating I haven't I haven't seen this verb tidy. Which one? Tidy. Tidy. -D -D tidy. No? Yeah, what does it mean in Spanish? I Which haven't one? seen it before. Tidy. Uh, t yeah, tidy. Tidy. T I D Y. I mean is like order. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Like order. Like order. I mean it's uh it's like uh -huh, it's like uh, it's like order. Tidy is let me see if tidy it's order or disorder. I mean, okay, okay. But even the, I mean, in this case, the the main point that you need is to is the the, the past, no? But it's la, it's, aha, it's order. It's order. Tidy is order. When you are very tidy, you are a tidy gentleman, something like that. If you have any question, do it. Right now we are working on a on a on a website, on a link, on a page. Okay, guys, you can work on. You can open your mic if you have any 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 question, but you cannot share. Just that you have teacher in what's the meaning of this verb or what is the past of this verb? Maybe that can you do it. Okay. Okay, mister, I did it. I I only I didn't know the the verb tidy. Tidy. What did you write that down? Was the only verb uh, tidy. tidy. And it is, I don't it know how wrong. to spring. Just that, that I haven't seen before. I haven't heard. Ah, tidy. It. But right now you have seen that what yeah, is tidy. Off. Yeah, right now. It's all yeah, yeah, I get it. It's neat. Organized. Organized, neat, a neat person, a neat, a, a, a neat person, sorry. Mm -hmm. but, but the other verbs I already know about. Excellent. Simple, past, and participle. Past participle. Yeah, but in this Some case, I think. Uh huh. What about the other? And what was your grade, Mister Beltran? Uh, so I I don't I don't have any problems doing this. Oh, just I I wanted to know what about the tidy. Ah, okay. just that. No, but what was your grade? Did you have to your grade? My break. Your grade from from the exercise. 
I didn't carry Mr. <laughs> ah, for you. Uh huh, guys. One minute more. Hello, one minute more. Mm -hmm. Trono. How was the exercise? Just make sure the chances. I did mine. No. I think so. The point is that you cannot contribute something. I finished, teacher. Huh? I finished. Really good, Mr. Rano. Again, how was how was how was it? What was your grade? Ten? Uh, no, no, fine. I oh, don't, ah, okay. I don't mistake. Uh, only in the seventy. Just no. Yeah, sixteen. It's 15. hit. 15. Talk. Uh -huh. Ah, 16. He took. Yeah, 16. Ah, he took. Yeah, the bird took. It's, you, you write down, take it. No. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a common mistake. Take, took. Good. Anyone? Someone else? Because I have to go for the next exercise, guys. That's just to remember and to practice the affirmative. Remember that in affirmative, we have to have the verb in the first form of the past. It means that we go, uh, he took, it, she took, or even there is a lot of verbs that I mean, there is a lot of verbs there that maybe we didn't know or we don't know. So it can help us to, 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 to start to learn the new verbs. And, there is the, the, I mean, there is the present and the past to, to, to join and to match them. Okay, after that, I have to ask you that you have to be very pending because we are going to go to the, we go for the attendance list. Some of you are still on the exercise, I imagine. I don't know why I can imagine that. Okay, let me see. Ah, it's okay, it's here. Okay, Ana Consuelo Maya Merino. Present, teacher. Okay, Ana Maria Rivas Duran. Present, teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present. Excellent. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Vaya. Presente. David Armando Romero Hernández. Diego Rodolfo Ruano Vázquez. 
present. Yeah. Uh, Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. Present. Guillermo José Osorio Ventura. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Presente. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Presente. Excelente, Roberto. Presente. Ok. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sandra Yamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Y Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Okay. So, it's just to remember the present simple in affirmative. Okay. So, remember the simple present in affirmative that we have to write down the verb, the main verb in past. That's why you have that exercise, okay? Uh -huh. Now we are going to see. Oh, I have it open. It's my mistake. So sorry because I have not opened that document. So sorry. This is in a page number 31. Yeah. Yeah. Page 31. Okay, you are going to listen and, 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 so you can read the conversation to participant. Okay. Let me see. Share the screen. Okay. Now we are going to see here the dialogue. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mr. Roberto Guzman and Mr. Roberto Beltran, can you help me with the with the dialogue, please? Okay, who are going to start, Mr. Mm, I don't know. So it's up to you or Okay, I, I, I'm going to start. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what a book. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't know. I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. It wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considering his name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay, good. He called. He, but I called and explained. Remember, guys, uh, I mean, for the verbs, there is a rule for pronunciation. The pronunciation of the ID verbs, of the regular verbs, is that the verbs that they finish with T or D, you have to pronounce ED. Like, uh, let me see, uh, like study, for example, study. You have to pronounce ID. Okay, so let me see if I can get an image to show to the demon to demonstrate this the spelling rules of the uh, of the um, of the verb in past. Okay, but right now you are going to go to the to the to this to the breakout rooms. You are going to start to practice the dialogue, and after I will share to you some question to the chat. Okay. To answer, but first you have to practice with the dialogue, okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 
We understood teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's in our book. Okay, here we go. So you have to start with the dialogue, practice the dialogue, and after I will share to you some uh, some questions about the dialogue that you have to answer. Número de conversación, el no even, even, even. Bueno, aquí estaría una, creo yo. Número ¿Qué de... página es, chicos? Dale, Ruth. Very well. Eh, Agent Dido. Treinta y uno. Hello, teacher. Hello. Repetition, por favor. Huh? Repetition. Ah, yes. You have to practice the dialogue on the page 31. This one. So you have to practice. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation. Okay. And after that, that you have practiced the dialogue, you have to answer the question that I shared to you on the chat of this room. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, fine. Thirty one. Thank you. Papa. Okay, okay. 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 Pero esto se acabó. No puedo seguir a la gente. 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 No puedo segu
Uh, okay, it wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a re receipt for why I bought. ¿Quién escribió? Me. After yeah. you have practice, you have to answer the questions. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> for my that and... My Apologies. My apologies. Eh, Consuelo, I don't know. Maybe. Si quiere. Quite la cámara por lo menos para que mejore you... el audio. Porque, ajá, el consumo va. Hoy practique el audio. My apologies. Exacto. My apologies for that. My apologies for that. Sí. And what about. Or product could you use it? Uh -huh. Ah, ya ve que mejor el audio, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. For what about? Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think... I didn't, he didn't say his name. He was king. My apologies for that. And what about our products? Could you use it? Could. Remember, could. Could you use it? Exactly. Yes, I could. What about here, guys? Answering the questions or something like that. Walter, Brenda. Ahorita encontramos una con Ah. Didn't get a confirmation number. You have practiced the dialogue. Ya practicaron el diálogo. No. No, aún no. Ah, bueno. Recuerden, primero practicar el diálogo y luego contestar las preguntas. Okay. Okay. Veamos lo que que pienso que él no me dijo su nombre, él no fue amable. Entonces, so <laughs> the first agent uh, uh, he wasn't keen. <laughs> so sorry, Mr. Ruano. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for I'm, it, I'm it, leaving, okay? I'm leaving, yeah. but you can... <laughs> No, 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 it's to <laughs> involucrate uh, to to language. <laughs> no, don't worry, that's okay. So okay. okay. I'm leaving. Okay. Just I'm, I'm monitoring. Don't worry. Okay, I'm leaving. Terminaron, ¿verdad? Ah, pues hoy inicio yo con Robert. ¿Estás listo, Robert? I'm ready. Bueno, yo voy a hacer luz. <laughs> Can you tell me more about your experience? Experience. It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what about. Do you remember the agent name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind.
Estas preguntas son sobre el párrafo que acabamos de leer. Yes. Yes. Sí. Yes. Ah, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my darling. <laughs> Could you tell me more about your experience? It went so nice the cow, the agent did give me a confession number. He did even spend a receipt for what I know. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He was kid. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Well, you see. Yes. I call it what so is what I call it a not a not agent again. He was so considered. His name was Romeo. And he is flying everything to me. Vamos a hacer otra vez o sí. Hola. You have the answer, the, the question, guys. ¿Tienen las preguntas también? Okay. Aporta las preguntas. En el chat. Hola, no me escuchan. Sí. Yes. Walter. Hola, hola. El, el, el otro, el que es explain. Call. Uh -huh. Call. Cold. 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 Uh, no, because it's, I mean, I, how I can explain oh, to you. Practicamos, Ana, más. Ya no veo a Gabriela. Yeah. 
es difícil. Yo no sé si que se vive en algunas discusiones. Pues no es difícil. Pero la versión de la película tiene más días. Seguro que es como la realidad. Entonces, si puedes encontrar en este local, es como hacer días como este. Y es que es el tipo de trabajo que tenía que hacer. Si tuviéramos un registro diario de todo el mundo, podría al menos que hacer. Puede pasar con esto. Es muy difícil contestarte. Hola, ¿qué estás haciendo para ti? Before we go for the next one, let's let me explain this to you, okay? Voy a decirlo un poquito en español. ¿Cómo pronunciar los finales de cada verbo? Hay tres diferentes maneras de pronunciar los finales de cada verbo en ed. Esto es el pasado de los verbos regulares. Dependiendo, ID, T o D. La pronunciación depende del sonido de la última de las infinitivas del verbo, o sea, de lo último del infinitivo del verbo. En palabras simples, todos los verbos terminados en T o D tienen que sonar con, mire, anoto, y voy a decirlo aquí, con ID. ¿eh? Wanted, needed, started, decided. ¿Ok? Todos los verbos que terminan en un sonido que se le conoce como no, se le conoce como no sound vowels, o sea, se le conoce como un sonido vibratorio. Acá, cuando ustedes hacen una buena pronunciación en inglés, hay dos sonidos. Uno es vibratorio las eh, le llaman las cómo se llama vibration o sea y se le llaman no vibrate o sea entonces todas las que no vibran terminan con t así como kissed loved asked stopped pero todas las que vibran 
Acá se oye así como un closed. Closed. Tendríamos que ahí sí tendrían que estar un poco así cerca de mí para decirles, mire, tiene que son oír este sonido así como... Pero vamos a algo a hacerlo así como cuando usted le hace una abeja. Bzzz, siente un... Hágale así algo. Bzzz, y tóquese un poco aquí como la, la manzana de Adán que se le conoce y va a oír una vibración. Bzzz. Pues esa vibración, eh, cuando usted dice kiss, diga kiss, kiss. No se oye esa vibración, ¿verdad? No se siente. ¿Sí se siente o no se siente? Kiss. No se siente. Pero si usted dice, ah, pues algo así tiene que hacer esas letras vibradas. Cuando yo hago esas letras vibradas, entonces se pronuncia como de. De hecho, Margot me estaba oyendo cuando decía explained. Explained. Porque yo sé que esa ya lleva como es N. Y acá dice, mire, este, acá dice de hecho los sonidos que terminan en T. P, K, F, S. SH y CH Sound, todos van a tener una terminación con, con T. Pero, y obviamente, todos los que no son estos sonidos, ¿ah? y oiga bien, no dice, no dice letras, dice sonidos. Esa es la diferencia. ¿ah? Entonces, si terminan en estos sonidos, P, K, F, S, S, H y CH, van a terminar en T. Y si no, terminan en algún otro sonido, entonces llevan D. Ve aquí, mire, la última. No le, haga, no le preste atención a las demás que me va a decir, mire, ¿y eso qué es? Preste la atención a las últimas letras. La primera dije, I, G, God is wanted, needed, started, decided. Las otras son... T, kissed, loved, asked, stopped, watched. Y aquí es de closed, saved, troubled, opened. Yo tenía un maestro. <ríe> si quiero aprendérselo de esta forma y solo esto diré ya otra vez en inglés, en español. Que él decía algo así como pupus arriba, pupus abajo y pupus en medio. Y usted, ¿qué es eso? Ah, que las que terminaban era para hacer una terminación. La T termina con la lengua un poco más arriba. Así como kissed. Y las terminaciones en D terminan con la lengua un poquito más abajo, la pupus abajo. Closed. Y estas que en medio, wanted. Esa es como la diferencia. ¿Mm? Y aquí están, como le digo, algunos verbos que terminan con la D, unos que terminan con la T y otros que terminan con la ID. ¿Cómo los puedo identificar? Solo fonéticamente. Es decir, eso es pronunciación. Tengo que saber, si tengo una buena pronunciación del verbo en presente, tengo una buena pronunciación del verbo en pasado. Solo eso diré en español. ¿Alguna pregunta? That is phonetic. Ok. Any question here, guys? I explain everything that I can in Spanish. Expliqué todo lo que pude en español. Okay? Do you have any question? No? No? No. No, lo dejé más confundidos. Díganme, por favor. I'm worried about... Es que no... Da pena decir que no entendimos. Quizá. No, pero a ver, díganme. Y por eso expliqué en español. ¿Ah? A ver. Sí, está bien. No, pero si no entendieron. Bajo. El momento comprendemos ya a la hora de la práctica y ahí andamos perdidos. <risa> es verdad. Y, y todos los demás, vaya. Voy a volver a explicar en español, no se preocupe. Voy okay. a decir fonéticamente, nosotros eh, en inglés hay unas... <coughs> Hay unas letras. Bueno, estas que terminan en T y D se dicen que deben de terminar en ID cuando yo pronuncio el pasado. Gaby y todo lo demás. Pero para las siguientes, por así decirlo, en la fonética, hay unas que terminan como vibrantes y no vibrantes. ¿Cuáles son las vibrantes? Como le dije, son aquellas que, que terminan con una leve vibración en la garganta. Por ejemplo, si usted dice kiss, no siente esa vibración. 
si usted dice abeja, vi, no, perdón, abeja no, si usted dice qué palabras me viene hacia la mente, este, save, save, se siente una pequeña vibración, es bien imperceptible, pero se siente. Entonces, esas dos hacen la diferencia en cómo se pronuncia al final o la terminación de un verbo en pasado. Es decir, si no tiene una vibración, entonces termina en T. Y si tiene vibración, termina en D. Entonces, es decir, por ejemplo, acá digo kiss. Entonces, ese es el verbo kiss. Ya cuando lo digo en pasado, digo kiss. La lengua va un poquito arriba. Luego la siguiente, vamos a save. Save, la lengua termina un poquito abajo. Esa es como la gran diferencia. Y aquí que termina, decía mi maestro en medio, wanted, needed, started. Entonces, es decir, ya después, estos son los verbos de ejemplo. Y acá por lo menos dice las letras. Voy a irme, dejo de compartir, por ejemplo, y vamos a ver al ejercicio que estábamos trabajando. Quiero ver si no lo he cerrado. Yo lo puse mal. Este, solo que hay pocos. Ah, vale. Veamos. Déjenme ver. Te comparto un poco. Quiero ver. Es que a veces colgar por estar usando. Ah, porque aparecen algunos anuncios. Por eso de que no lo muestro así tan. Bueno. Eh, quiero ver. Que tengo aquí los verbos, pero no quiero mostrar por el anuncio. No sé por qué otro. Va, va por ejemplo, vamos a poner, voy a abrir, sí, aquí ya sé. Va, vamos aquí. Aquí veamos, déjenme les comparto para explicar esto claramente. Va, vamos nosotros. Verbos que ya usamos nosotros. Por ejemplo, arrive. Arrive termina en V. Ya dijimos que la V, si yo le pongo la D, entonces tengo que pronunciarla tipo D. Arrive. ¿Ah? Pero vámonos a otra. Vámonos al verbo work, que es trabajar. Si yo le pongo la ED, es work. ¿Ah? Vean la diferencia. Arrive. Work. Arrive. Work. All right, work. Esa es básicamente la diferencia, Gaby, los demás. Y obviamente dije, los que terminan en D, este, decided, needed, eh, hasta ahorita no se, me, no se me viene ninguno. Uh, el más común que se me viene es study, termina en ED, la pronunciación es ED o ED. No sé si me di a comprender hoy. Sí, teacher. Gracias, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Beltran. What about the others? ¿Qué hay de los otros? Gabriela, ya mejor, Gaby. Un poquito, aunque se me olvide cuando lo ponga en práctica, pero bueno, ahí vamos. <laughs> That's okay. Sí, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. With the practice, we yeah, will bear. Okay, so yeah, believe it or not, the practice. That's why I recommend to you that you have to listen to music. This is that's my recommendation. Uh, that you have to listen to music, maybe some music that use uh use verb in past. It's come on. I mean, I, I have a I have a little song I don't remember right now. And even the present, like when you have to pronounce S as by example, there is a song that she She likes the wind through my dreams. She rests the night next to me. She leads me to moonlight, only to world watch the sun. I mean, that song at least can help you to use that simple present with S. And there are another verbs that they can help you to use the verb in past. Like uh, I was singing it last time. Hey, did you happen to see the most beautiful girl in the world? 
And if you did, wash it right. So in that way, you can practice very well the pronunciation of yes. By example, like, if you did, you happen to see, and I will, I, I will look for a song to, to show how to practice the verb in past, okay? And maybe I will recommend. But before we have to go to our work, okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. We have to do this. I have to share the screen again. Okay. Yeah. So read the conversation and write the activities. Okay. So read the conversation again and write the activities that happened at the ones that ones that didn't. Okay. As by example, what did, what didn't. Okay. Read the conversation again and write the activities that happen. Okay, as by example, uh, explain the ones that did. I mean, that happened. What activities happen here? Uh, he didn't send a receipt. Ah, well, didn't send a receipt. No enviaron un recibo. Ah, eso es, no enviaron un recibo. Uh, entonces... <laughs> Entonces, ¿a dónde va? Did o didn't? Ah, didn't send a receipt. ¿A quién le pasó? A Eva. Y luego, eh, didn't say his name. ¿A quién le pasó? A Eva. Ok, uh, y así vamos a ir. ¿Sí me doy a entender what are you going to do? Vamos a poner cosas that did and didn't y a quién le pasaron. Ok, you are going to have like 10 minutes to do that. Okay, you have there. Page 31 also, guys. Didn't uh, receive no, pero, pero, no, 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 la copié bien. No, 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 ¿Qué van a hacer? Do you know what are you going to do, guys? No. Lo que entendí fue que dijo usted que lo que le había pasado a Eva y a lo que había. Exacto. Lo que le pasó, lo que no le pasó, pero a cualquiera de las dos. You are going to write mm -hmm. down lo que le pasó y a quién le pasó. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. <laughs> I don't believe you, brain. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
Bueno, a Eva, por ejemplo, no le dieron un número de, de confirmación. Y no le dieron Podría... el nombre. Ajá. Dos. Sí, por eso didn't give a confirmation number. Tu Eva. Ajá. Yeah. Ah, está bueno. Sí. Otra cosa es que ella no recibió si vive si vive Ah, pues bueno, aquí ya no es esto. Sería, a ella no le enviaron. Pero si no se lo envió fue la gente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, yes. It's called a cane. Like the customer this. did call. What is wrong there, Mr. Ruano? Uh, and this part, uh, uh, wait. And this part, uh, excuse me. Um, Eva, uh, Eva. No, the sentence was good. I mean, just the oh. point of the sentence that you were writing. I mean, it was oh. the spelling. Oh, okay. Okay. It's because did call, not it called. Oh, it's only a past sentence, but did is it's past. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, Could be. Uh, The, the, oh, the, oh, I mean, or oh, the agent called, or oh, uh -huh. oh, you don't, you didn't write did. The agent called. Oh, okay. O podría usar dos expresiones, por decirlo así. Mm, para decirlo así en palabras simples, que si pone el did, ya no tiene que poner el, el ya tiene que poner el verbo en presente, did called. Presente. Aunque la oración yeah. tendría que decir, the agent called. El did está de más. Ah. Sería Eva Cole. Exactly. The, the, the agency, uh, the for agency example, yeah. again. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Exactly. okay, I know I know. use the did in the past sentence for in, in this example. No, because if you are writing the sentence in affirmative, you don't have to, to, to use did. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, sir. Eh, aquí está el teacher. Preguntémosle ahorita. What about me? In case we did, we, uh, we, uh, was, I was thinking about when, when Luz asked to Eva about that she could use its, his product, uh, Eva, Eva said, I could. It wasn't easy, but the agent uh, helps her. Uh huh. I think. I think yeah, he used the, he used the product. Yeah, that's okay. He used the product. He did it. Is that right? Yeah, he did it. She did it. Yeah, sorry, she did it. And by, I couldn't see another. <laughs> Another uh, mm. possibility. No, I mean, but as by example, uh, ah, that she did. Uh, ah, yeah, I, I got it. I mean, uh, so she called another agent. Mm. Ah, you have to analyze that. Yeah, but she called another agent. I call another agent. 
is in the last one. Yeah. Eva. Yeah. Uh, after after uh, it wasn't so easy. Yeah. That's true. Eva, the last. Yeah, Eva, I mean, Eva did it. She called. Remember that in this case, you have to write down what she did and you have to write down the name who did. Because you okay. have right now, yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but who did this? <laughs> yes, Eva did it. Ah, okay. That's why you have to write down. Yes, it, uh, so. Yeah, that's a good. Oh, yeah. <coughs> También podemos poner que Romeo explicó. Romeo le explicó todo. Ajá. Ah. Bien, creo que sí. His name was Romeo. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. He was so... so... Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, no. No, 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 and he... Okay, guys, let me explain to you this again. Just let me see something that I'm preparing for you, and that's and we will be okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Let me see. We are going to contrast the, okay, look at here. Simple sentences, past simple sentences and past simple negative sentences. We have the same sentences here but we have different we have in different time as i explained to you okay this is 
the affirmative and this is the negative. Look at here, the verb when. Yeah, is here is not when, it's go. What is the negative didn't go? You have to know then that when you write down in past, the verb has to be in past. When you write down in past in affirmative, but when you write down in past in negative, the verbs go again to the natural form, we can say, a la forma natural. Lo explico así, así livianamente en español. Cuando yo escribo en, en pasado afirmativo, el verbo tiene que estar en pasado. Cuando yo escribo en pasado negativo, el que está en pasado es nada más el didn't, el did y el not. El verbo vuelve a estar en su estado natural. Mira aquí, studied, studied. Played, usted le ve la ed, y aquí play. Bought, buy. Visited, visit. Y entonces, ¿dónde se carga el pasado, teacher? Ah, ¿cómo entiendo que es pasado negativo? Por el didn't, el didn't, el didn't, el didn't. El didn't me dice que es pasado y que es negativo. Didn't. Y luego, ah, pero es que mira, el verbo está, por así decirlo, en presente. Sí, pero ¿cómo lleva el did not? That is called didn't. So then, we know that is Past simple negative, okay? Look at she danced. She didn't dance. Okay, vamos a hacer algo. Roberto Beltrán. Lea la primera en simple press, simple sent, simple pass, sorry. No, no está Beltrán, se ha movido. Vamos a ver, Margot. Ah, oh, bueno. Uh -huh. Ajá. I, I went to the Grocery store yesterday. Excelente. Karen Castillo Sensente. I didn't uh -huh. go to the grocery store yesterday. Excellent. I didn't go to the grocery store. Excellent. Okay. Brenda, number two, Brenda. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. Number two. Yeah. She is studying. 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 She studied Spanish for three years in college. In college. Excellent. Consuelo Amaya, number two, negative. She didn't study Spanish in college. In college, very good. Ana Maria Rivas Duran. They played soccer in the park last weekend. Played, played. Okay. Uh, Diego Ruano. Uh, which number Excuse three me. negative okay. negative uh they didn't play soccer in the park last weekend exactly thank you mr ruano fatima laura number four affirmative he bought a new car last month excellent fatima laura catering number four negative she didn't buy a new car last month. Excellent. Roberto Guzman, number five, please. Affirmative. We visited our grandparents on the holiday. We visited. Excellent. Visited. Gabriela Vasquez. We didn't visit our grandparents, grandparents on the holiday. Excellent. Roxana, number six, affirmative. No. Hello, is it me you're looking for? 
Oh, where are you now? I need to know. It's things. Walter Reyes, number six. <laughs> she danced all night at the party. She danced all night danced. at the party. Danced. Sandra Alvarado, number six. She thinks dance at night at the party. Yeah. Mr. Beltran, are you ready? Yes. Number seven. Okay. Affirmative. Yes. They walked along the beach at sunset. Exactly. They didn't walk along at the beach at sunset. Excellent. Okay. So here you can see the contrast between affirmative and negative. I mean, you see that in affirmative, you have to write down the verb in past. But in negative, the verb has to be in present and past has to be the did not or didn't. Are you clear with? ¿Estamos claros con eso? Más o menos. <laughs> Are we clear with that, guys? Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Tipote, por favor, tipote. <laughs> tipote. Voy a comer cenicita. Por favor. <laughs> I don't know. What can I do, my guys? <laughs> okay. So, let me see. Right now, we have to go over. We, we have to work with our so here is also the past of verb to be remember that yesterday we were discussing the the, the present of verb to be and also we were discussing the past of verb to be the past of verb to be also we have was plus not like in the simple past i mean did not plus the verb so it means that you have to write down sentences using negative in simple past okay you have to go to work to your breakout room and you have to i mean you have to work on this okay exercise number five Okay, like mambo number five. One, two, three, four, five. I know. I'll stop shaving. Sorry. <laughs> I always have a song for it. I told to Miss Chachawa, okay, that I have almost a song, almost, almost uh, a song for every word. Banana, la, oh, banana. Oh, they oh, they oh, they oh. Ah, well, so let me tell you some, ah, oh, at the end I will tell you. It's because I think so that I don't yeah, we have to up that way. Love you, can set some hard work. Oh my goodness, that's a good English teacher. <laughs> if there's an accomplishment in that kind of things, what can you think about? I can move from Guatemala to Guadalajara.
espérame. Este verbo no me acuerdo el punto. Pues va, satisfecho. Satisfecho, Eva. Vamos a verlo aquí. No cambia, se mantiene. Se mantiene la forma, no, no, no cambia aquí. El mismo verbo. I didn't satisfy with my laptop. With my laptop. Marta writes a letter to his boss. Sería Marta didn't or she didn't. Marta mejor. Marta didn't. Didn't write. A letter to his boss. We are so happy with the post service. We are so happy with the post service. Entonces la primera sería was. Sí. Bueno. Sí, va. Porque sí. está insatisfecho. Thank <laughs> you. 
live like you right now. Just keep it up, bro. Don't forget to do the same thing that you are doing right now. And I like to hear it because you you didn't you stopped smoking, bro. I like to hear it, bro. Mm -hmm. I think that was making you bad, bro. You was, you was, you were, you were. Remember, smart. guys, that you have to use oh, negative. Uh, Write sentences using negative in simple uh, past. Um, <laughs> Just, I want to advertise. I mean, but it says write sentences using negative in simple past. Okay, don't worry. It's it's easy. Excellent. I was thinking yeah. that you were writing a letter, Mr. Beltran. <laughs> I was talking with my cousin. He's living in the U.S. Ah, that's why. It's yeah, all very good. He got, he got a illness. Oh, my God. So he, sorry for him. He is he is smoke he smoke a lot he smoke oh. a lot oh my god i don't want to even imagine what kind of illness is that yeah he told me he yeah he told me he lose his breath sometimes for a minute oh my god yeah he's he's an he's an, he is in a bad condition i think so yes so sorry mr Beltran. i didn't know so sorry Thanks, mister. Entonces aquí para hacer la negativa lo vamos a poner el contra lo hacemos eh, digamos eh, Yeah, con in that case I was not satisfied. Ajá, uh -huh. o le ponemos oh, I la... wasn't. It, wa it wasn't I me was... or I was not. Yeah, I tell. It doesn't matter if you use contracted. I mean, the point is that contracted is the most common use in American language. Yes, you are right. Ajá, uh -huh. that's why. Uh -huh. Ahí solo vamos a quitar el road y vamos a poner Marta didn't. Excellent. Right. So you see, Better. Mr. Roberto Beltran is the yeah. master here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Teacher, happy and pasado is happened. No, darling, happy doesn't exist in past. No existe en pasado. No, because it's an adjective. The past is just for the verbs. Uh, yes, Laura. I mean, you can say I am happy. I was happy. The verb. Entonces, en la tercera oración solo le vamos a dar el no. I think so. Let me see the third sentence. We are so happy. Yeah, we were. Yeah, that's it. But remember that it's not just Entonces, words. It has to be in negative. Weren't. Exactly. We weren't. We weren't so happy. We weren't so happy with the delivery food service. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Roxanne. Roxanne, hello. Roxanne. You, you, who are you there? Roxanne. No, she's not here. Don't be hiding, Roxana. Roxana. Ya se durmió. <laughs> she is she is she's sleeping, Roxana. What about what about Karen? Yes. 
For sentence, Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Excellent. Fatima Laura. Roxana. I mean, she's busy. Maybe she's eating or something like that. Or oh, she's sleeping. Maybe she think, she, she took slight lapsus. <laughs> Roxana, Roxana, I need you. Roxana, Roxana, Roxana. Hi, teacher. What were you doing? <laughs> I imagine that you're busy. Roxana. Huh? No encontraba la página. Don't worry, Roxana. Roxana, you know that today is your day. You know? Today is your day, Roxana. ¿Cómo? Today is your day, Roxana. Ando perdida, dicho. Hoy es su día, Roxana. Hoy le toca quedarse. Ah. Uh, Así. Uh. Bueno. Así como que. No, teacher. No, teacher. Don't cry, please. Don't cry. Ok, Roxana. But tomorrow you are not going to work, Roxana. Mañana no trabaja. No. So that's sí, why. Ah, it's a day off, you say. Mayo. It's a day off. Okay, Roxana, you have to stay today with me. Okay. You're not, you don't like, no puedo ver su sonrisa, pero me imagino que está feliz, Roxana. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> Voy a pasar durmiendo. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, Sandra, that's it. Yes. You look like the happiness. Es así como, yes. Sí, no, así es como que, ah, sí. Así es como, ah, sí, feliz. You notice the, the, the excited, I mean, usted nota la emoción. Ay, sí. You notice the exciting there, I mean, oh, yes. Yes. I did it, yeah, yes. Great. Nice. Outstanding. That's it. Civitas. I am on my good position. Yeah. The five sentence Sanya, the principal didn't since my many email. Wait, let me see. The principal. The principal didn't. Sent many emails. No. Ah, the principal didn't send many emails. Send many emails, yeah. The principal didn't send many emails. Emails. Me voy, pero si no me va a sacar todas las respuestas. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Okay. What about what happened? It happened. I'm feeling good. <laughs> good sunshine. It's now on. It's now on. It's now on. Question, guys, about the, 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 the about the exercise. No. Sí. But uh, in Spanish, I'll tell you. Tell me then. Yeah. I will. I will let you. Siempre que usemos el bien, el verbo no ha cambiado, verdad? Exacto, Mr. Guzmán. Exactly. Mm. Por decirlo de una manera en español, el verbo absorbe, el did absorbe la regla. Uh -huh. Pero eso es para la para el pasado simple negativo, ¿verdad? Sí. Y también para el pasado simple negativo. 
a y el interrogativo. Y para el simple pa, ese, el verbo es el que pasa a ser pasado. Exacto, ¿verdad? Mr. Guzmán, exactly. Ay, está un poquito maniado. ¿Mm? Lo siento un poquito maniado el tema. <risa> sí, de hecho que ese es el, uno de los temas más álgidos, digamos, entender cuándo los verbos hacen el cambio. Es que este tema realmente es bastante amplio. ¿no? Como digo, de ahí cada, por ejemplo, sí. dividir los verbos en, en, en regular and irregular, something like that, the changes that they have, los cambios que tienen, that's very hard. Brenda, do you want to say something, Brenda? Hello, teacher. Hello, Brenda. Yo creo que ya estoy bien ahí. Estamos hablando del tema o de que ya se está acomodando, ¿no? <laughs> sí, please clarify, ¿no? No sé si está ahí como una almohada y dice, ya estoy bien aquí o we are talking about the topic. <laughs> Ay, no, teacher, no estoy ni cómoda. Ah, so that's why. Ah, I mean, hoy, una vez más, estamos hablando del tema. Oh, de... <laughs> I'm so sorry, Brenda. That's my way to be. <laughs> ah, okay. So, with the topic, it's a kind of. Okay, con el tema estamos más o menos. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. We have to go out. I think so. Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me. Cuando está, digamos, la, la, no sé si en, en pasado. Uh -huh. Porque yo estaba, estaba viendo uno, uno ejercicio que está en, 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 en la página que mandé. No, no, en, en la plataforma. Mm. Va, como no estábamos viendo todavía este tema, intenté hacerlo, pero no, no pude. Nothing. <risas> Ajá. Intenté como en, de varias formas y no, no, todavía no. Hasta ahorita que estoy comprendiendo aquí. Ah, that's why, that, that's why I said that you don't, you cannot go ahead. Les digo que traten de adelantarse porque a veces ya los temas no se han visto y cabal, ustedes tienen esa complejidad. ¿va? Y ya yo así en lo poquito que sé, trato de explicarles para que clarificarlos y que aprendan. Correcto, correcto. Por ahí vamos en el camino. Ok. So we have to go out and we are going to send some exercises. Of all, let's gonna do something, okay? To save time. I wanna share to you, first of all, I wanna share to you one link again. Meanwhile, you are working on the link. I'm gonna go to the list. What do you think about? Les comparto un link ahorita. Empiezan el juego, hacer las oraciones. Y mientras me están jugando, están haciendo las oraciones. Paso lista to save time. Yes. Okay, let me yeah. see. Yes. Where are the links? Okay, thank you. That's the answer that I like to hear. Okay, let me see. 
Igual, si quieren, también les voy a compartir ya aquí. Ya hay dos canciones y están ahí como que para que irlas cantando ¿eh? de, a, de a poco. Se las comparto por este chat si quieren. Y que son, son dos canciones. Ahí está la página donde van. Este, una es Vaselina, the name of the song, and the, the soundtrack of the movie Vaselina, que es to, to practice the past, I mean, para practicar el pasado, y ahí en esa página pueden ir un poco, un poco yendo y cantando. Ok, to practice the verb in past. Ahora, let me share the other ones. Ok. Uh -huh. Let me see. There is... I don't remember. I think so, but this is the first one. Ajá. Este es el primer enlace y lo comparto también por el WhatsApp. Let me see by the WhatsApp. Y en lo que empiezan, paso lista. Ok. Ok, Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Ok, Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. Present. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present. Ah, la mía es inestable. Uh. Bien, Armando. Este, Diego Rodolfo Ruano. Present teacher. Ok. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. Present. Guillermo José Osorio Ventura. Present. Excelente. I like the boys. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Presente. Good. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Presente. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. I hear. Eh, Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sandra Chamilés Alvarado Aguilar. Ok. Very good. Present Rosa. teacher. Very good. Y Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Ok. So, you are working on the, uh, on the link, no? Yes. Ok. Yes. Good. Work hard. If you have any question, you know this game, you can open your mic and ask me something if you have. Let me open to see. What are you working on? Ah, oh, yeah, passing negative. You have to choose between did and did. Uh, very good. I love what are you doing. If there is any question, you can open your mic and ask me, guys. ¿Alguna pregunta? Y eso lo vamos a enviar. No, Robert Guzmán, a mí. Solo es para ustedes, es decir, es solo para que si tienen alguna pregunta, algo que no lo hicieron bien. A I mí, mean, in the part that you see, en alguna que se haya equivocado, pre preguntarme, why did I commit a mistake? ¿Por qué me equivoqué en esa? What I, uh, ¿Qué hice mal? ¿Qué hice wrong? Sí, ahorita respondiendo. 
you could see your grade when there's a nota and you can see which one did you commit the mistake. Even aún pueden hacer el ejercicio las veces que necesiten. Le dan refrescar a la página y lo vuelven a hacer. And for the other side, por otro lado, tengo el otro para que practiquen el was y el wasn't. ¿Qué les parece? Was, was, were, weren't. ¿Qué les parece? What do you think about? <laughs> What do you think about? Is it okay or not? You don't like it? Or do you like it? El link de la extensión no lo puede enviar al WhatsApp. Es decir, no lo, no lo puedo yeah, copiar. I have done. Ya lo hice. Ah, ok. I have done. What about the cat? It was too long. <laughs> Very good. Yo lo hice, pero no me parece nota, teacher. Uh, no. Finish. Yes, I did it. Pero no me parece nota. It, at some point, it appears just a, a window that it says, you are talking about the first one or the second one? Aquí en el primer link, las he hecho todas, les he finished. Pero no me dio nota. What do you want to do, says? Check my answers or email my answers to a teacher, says. Yeah, it says at the end, says, Finish, okay. What do you want to do? Check my answers or or email or close? Well, I don't know, Mr. Beltran. There are two choices. You leave like that or you can do it again. Aquí arriba aparece un nueve. Ah, pues that's, that, that's your grade. Ahí dice, en una esquinita. How it's? Ay, es que me va a dar un resultado. Uh, hmm. But, me, I mean, it says... Nine, nine over ten, no? Which are wrong. ¿Cuáles están malas? Ahí puede ver. Sí, Ruby. Ruby saw lots of elephants, but she so didn't is... any lion. What is? Sorry, again, read it. Uh, en la última. No, es el número tres. Ajá. La de Ruby. Ruby saw lots of elephants, but... Yo le puse, she didn't see any lions. Eso me parece en rojo. Ah, pues sí. Yeah, because it's Ruby saw a lot of elephants, but she didn't, uh -huh, she didn't, 
Yeah, maybe <laughs> that it's one. She didn't, uh-huh. You have to see. So, but there is another, just that one appears in red, mister. La otra, la numero cuatro. Ah, uh, pues you, you, you interchange them. Pero no tiene sentido porque el número cuatro dice, ella ate lots of orange, but dice, she didn't, eh, she didn't eat any bananas. Y está en rojo y pues no, no veo otra con que cambiarlo porque no, no tiene luz. Ah, I got it. Ruby saw, Ruby saw lots of elephant bats. Yeah, in that case, could be a mistake of the page. Could be. Sometimes there is a mistake on the pages, like the platform that they have maybe a mistake, could have mistakes. Sí, 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 porque okay. en este caso no, no veo otra. Uh -huh, that is, it doesn't have any logic. Yeah, maybe remember that these are games, they are great for, peop uh, for people, so they can have a, like a kind of mistake. Okay. Sí, pero está interesante, me gusta la verdad. Okay, I like it. So that you learn and you can discover and you can associate and you can learn new words and even you can do it that way in games because this is. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. What about the other guys? You are sleeping or you are doing the game? <laughs> they got the pillow behind. Yeah, they got the pillow. <laughs> Yeah, almost we are yeah. we are kind remember that today is thursday with face of friday okay today is thursday with friday's face <laughs> and that's okay tomorrow some of you are going to have a day off in the case of me i have to wake up early at four maybe four or five o'clock because i have to i have to do uh, something for my day yeah, we you know who is the head chu? You know what is the head chu? Teacher after lunes, ¿verdad? Ah? Yes. Hasta el lunes, ¿verdad? Sí, a ver, por eso quería también. Es cierto, okay. niño, por eso les dije que hoy es jueves con cara de viernes, porque aunque es jueves, eh, nos veremos hasta el lunes. Aquí, por alguna vez voy a uh -huh. ver el rostro de algunos con una sonrisa, pero más que iluminada. <risa> algo así como cuando le digo que se van a quedar conmigo los 10 minutos después ah la sentí de... ¿Eh? la, la sentí eso fue para mí ah, no Gaby come on Gaby don't personalize it I love all of you los amo a todos ok you know Aquí no, está yo, sé. Iluminado, yo sé que, yo, que sé no que, yo sé que quedarse a veces los 10 minutos así, usted está con un ojo así, con el otro en el teacher, algunos ni encienden la cámara. I know, that is very hard. But, don't worry guys, I mean, no sé si todavía están por eso, a ver, uh, uh -huh. I mean, uh, están todavía, are you sleeping, are you ready guys? Are you still working on or are you, I mean, are, are you sleeping or you are like a teacher tomorrow, you know, tomorrow we are going to have a day off. Okay, guys. So time's up. I hope you have learned this class. I hope you have learned the games. Si no los han terminado, los puede seguir, los puede rehacer otra vez, puede luego quedarse, puede también bajar la imagen, buscar el buscar la, eh, el vocabulario, hacer las cosas que necesite. Puede hacerlo las veces que necesite esos juegos. Por igual puede buscar en la página un montón de juegos, a veces sé que no queda tiempo, pero si no también espere que yo le vaya dando algunos de acuerdo a los, que, a los temas que vayamos viendo. Por favor, haga los ejercicios de la plataforma. Eh, ya, por ejemplo, como decía Walter, mire, traté de hacer los ejercicios antes, pero no pude. Ya espero que con el tema quede más claro y yo ya los pueda hacer. Entonces, por lo demás, eh, es un placer y... Bueno, a excepción de a la persona que ya le dije que ya, pues ya le dije que era el día de ella hoy. Los demás pueden close your eyes and go to your bed to dance. Hoy es más dulce porque van a ser tres noches. Bueno, los que no se depende y vayan a la disco, <risa> no van a ser solo dos. <risa> <risa>
<laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, guys. It was a pleasure. See Mr. you on Monday. Yeah, for me sure. also. Okay, see you on Monday. Yeah. Have a good night. Do your exercise. Good night. Do your oh, good night. Sleep. Please, say no vaya a andar ahí de. So, about how do you say it in, in Spanish? Like, vagal. <laughs> Después de lunes, ahí, teacher, I feel tired. Y es lunes, se siente cansado y apenas es lunes. Come on, what are we going to do? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Hi. Bye, teacher. Bye. Roxana, don't leave. Roxana, please don't go. Roxana, please don't go. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, Roxana. That's why I'm singing to you. Please don't go. Please don't go. Hey, I love you so That I, I want you to know that I... Mr. Romero, nice to see you, Mr. Romero. Sorry, because I know that maybe sure. you were working. Uh, sorry, no. Sorry. Don't worry. If you could see the sorry. class, Mr. Romero, sorry. si puede ver la clase en, en diferido, yeah. sería bastante bueno para que pueda aprender yeah. un poco del tema. Y si no, creo que tendré un espacio de unos 10 minutos otro día, tal vez, y se lo doy. Sí, sí. sí dígame. No, que está, si puede ver en diferido a la clase sería Thank excelente. You, si no, voy a tener algún día, creo, algunos 10 minutos para reforzarle el tema, creo. Oye. Sí, te no, no problem, Mr. Romero, no problem. De acuerdo, bye. Bye. Roxana. Oh, my God. Uh -huh, Roxana, how can I help you, Roxana? Hi, teacher. Hi, Roxana. ¿Cómo le ayudo? Cansado. <laughs> ¿Yo o usted cómo? <laughs> Yo. Sí, me imagino, Roxana. Pero mañana, hoy lo, lo voy a envidiar. Mañana tiene el día libre. Yo tengo que ir a trabajar todavía. Nosotros como trabajamos en uh, escuela, vamos a hacer el acto cívico mañana. Uh, so, mañana usted va a amanecer allá, el teacher allá, asoleándose, y usted, uff. Lleve no, bastante ¿eh? agua. ¿Ah? Lleve bastante agua. No, es que nosotros no vamos a salir a desfilar ahí en la escuela, vamos a hacer el acto, pero. Ah, bueno. Sí. ¿Cómo le ha ido, Roxana? Diga. No sé, alguna Ay, duda, consejo o algo. Me está costando un poquito. Pero no se preocupe. El que persevera alcanza, Roxana. A veces la gente, el problema es rendirse. Que la gente sí. dice me rindo, pero no se rinda. De hecho, pues no puedo saber qué le pasó a, a, al... Creo que tengo dos compañeras al final que... De hecho, que usted estuvo un tiempo ahí que... Que, que me, se me ausentó yo dije qué pasó con Roxana y después regresó sí Gracias. lo que pasa es que tengo una mamá que tiene una enfermedad terminal Ay, no, lo y la sí. segunda clase que tuvimos de las primeras Ajá. como en una actividad estábamos cuando se puso mal y me Ajá. tuve que llevarla al hospital y la semana pasada todo ahí estuve ahí. Sí, me imagino. Y es que como, bueno, por ejemplo, yo vi el caso de Mónica, que ya dije, mmm, también Mónica, ya no pudo y a ver qué, qué, qué pasó con Mónica. Y creo que tenía otra persona también que, que, que eh, eh, Patricia creo que era otra persona que tenía en lista y al final, pues, no sé, entonces, a veces aunque no lo crea, quizás no lo evidencia, pero me preocupa, digamos, que a veces dicen, ah, mucho inglés, no hablan inglés, eh, pero pues es parte de que ustedes puedan aprender, ¿no? Sí. El punto en parte está en no desanimarse. Ese es el sí. detalle. Sí, porque la verdad, sí, yo siento que este módulo me está costando un poquito más, porque más así, más, 
más inglés. Más Pero esas inglés. clases que está, esas últimas clases que nos ha explicado un poco así en español, ya le he logrado entender más. Ya dice, ya no, no, no me voy a rendir, ya sí, casi no. no sí. Créanme que lo que pasa es de que, digamos, a mí soy un stalker. Y voy a decirlo así, se nos exige que sea un gran y un alto porcentaje en inglés. De hecho, casi nos piden el 100% de inglés. Yo he tratado siempre, digamos, de, 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 de hasta cierto punto hablar español, pero a veces realmente nunca me han dicho así como no lo haga, pero he eh, percibido también a veces y me preocupa que ustedes vayan, si bien es cierto, ascendiendo el módulo, pero comprendiendo menos. Ahora, al menos he valorado, digamos, eh, ya estos temas si son bien álgidos. Por eso es que me he bajado un poco y he dicho, no, este tema tengo que explicárselo. Y además que quizás, eh, eh, digamos, ¿cómo le puedo decir lo que le dicen a uno? Ah, yo pensé y a veces me dicen a mí que ustedes vienen ya así como full English. Y yo, ah, no, pues tengo que, que hablarle full English. Ya cuando yo voy, digamos, valorando, digo, no como los he visto, que a veces les pregunto y sé que se me quedan callados, no porque hayan entendido, sino porque no han entendido y a veces o no quieren preguntarme o les cuesta formular la pregunta en inglés. Y, so, y hay dos personas que me entienden, tres de hecho hay personas que me entienden, ¿Mm? que podría decir por nombres. Y, pero dos de ellos me entienden y bah, pum, una de ellas me entiende, pero tiene que verbalizarlo en español. Entonces, eh, así como que los demás, pues, y no es que no puedan, sino que tienen esa pena. Yo ya les dije, no tengan pena. Y se lo digo a todos, ¿no? Que estoy para ayudarles, pues. Si a veces, digamos, eh, trato de usar lo menos el español, porque también deben de forzar su mente de alguna manera a ir tratando de captar en inglés. Si no, va a pasar lo que ha pasado con mucha gente, le digo yo, que, que hay gente que, que, y me disculpa quizás, le digo yo, a la gente, le, pero hay gente que, que y yo he conocido, de hecho, yo conocí una maestra, le digo yo, eh, que, que llegó con un título de, 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 de universidad, Roxana, y, y, y pues, y era, decía, licenciada en inglés, y a la hora le digo, bueno, hablemos, mire, no le hago largo el cuento, Roxana, al siguiente día ya no llegó. Entonces, y te lo he comprado. Pues sí, entonces, eh, quizás lo más probable, ¿no? Y sabe que es lo peor, sin ánimo de nada, no de, de, de mérito a ninguna, pero, eh, por ejemplo, yo salí de una universidad privada por razones económicas y familiares, no viene el caso mencionar, y ella había salido de la nacional. Entonces... A ver, la gente dice, ah, no, si en las privadas a la gente le regalan el título, dice, no, en la nacional, no, dice, en la nacional, y no estoy hablando de marca, no, pero nacional, y yo, bueno, entonces, voy a eso, pues también he conocido gente que, que tal vez ha, ha cursado varios cursos, digamos, en el cultural, y a la hora de, de hablemos, digamos, que así como que, es más, yo a veces les hacía la broma, cuando a veces en algún curso comienzo, de gente que anda así, mire, este que como que, que usted puede llenar el libro y, yo puedo hablar inglés, aquí escrito, va, hablemos, loco. Y así como que, ahí a usted, nada, por sí. eso es que es mi preocupación, Roxana, y creo que es la preocupación de inglés corporativo, de Insafor, que, que vayan aprendiendo. Pero sí, el, ayer hablaba con el que se quedó conmigo, o con la que se quedó conmigo, y me decía, mire, trate, y pues voy a tratar en lo posible, y creo que hoy ya, por lo menos algunos así, ya cacharon más. <risa> sí, sí, es que ese es el detalle. Uh -huh. Que por lo menos yo, en mi caso, yo no tengo un diccionario memorizado tan grande de inglés. Digamos que poquito lo que me aprendo. Por eso hay algunas palabras que no las sé. Y cuando usted me pregunta algo y, y dice esas palabras, yo me quedo así como. No, pero bueno, algo okay. que le puedo decir a todos pueden preguntarme por el chat, mire. Así como esto, se ha dado cuenta hoy que también una de las técnicas que uso es escribir en el chat para que más o menos comprendan. Sí. Ah, por lo menos lea, pero ya verbalizo más el inglés. Es decir, porque si no hasta cierto punto, a veces se podría así como volver una clase de español más que de inglés, pues. Y ahí ya entraríamos un poquito en detalle. 
además que también el método que busca es más comunicativo, es decir, yo me debo de comunicar con usted en inglés y usted debe de tratar de comunicarse en inglés, ¿verdad? Pero igual, Roxana, este, creo que eh, pues agradezco la impresión en ese sentido que usted tenga de decirme, no, mire, hay que explicar un poquito algunas cosas en español, por lo menos lo básico, la gramática, yo ya entendí. ¿Ah? Sí. Entonces, sí, eso es bueno. Lo y... esencial. ¿Ah? Lo esencial. Exacto, lo, lo, así como lo, lo coral. Entonces, ya eso ya, ya es bastante bueno. Mm. Bueno, no sé, ¿algún comentario sobre la clase, sobre el profesor? No, ya, ya, no. ya me animé. Que lo cambie. Que primero sí, cuando solo inglés, inglés y yo, yo así me quedaba como que... Este, que lo cambien, por favor, diga. No, que no entendía nada, no, pero ahí estamos, Roxana, no se preocupe. Vamos a tratar, y cabal, como usted dice, lo coral, quizás lo más puntualito, vamos a tratar de siquiera pasarme ese poquito al español y volver luego a, al, al idioma que estamos aprendiendo. Oye, sí. cualquier cosa estamos para servirle. Ahí estamos, no, no tenga miedo, no, no. Pues ahí estamos, no, no, no. ¿Qué le digo? Vamos a ver de qué forma mejoramos y apoyamos su aprendizaje. Oye. Bueno, muchas gracias. Así, no muy convencida. Bueno, hábleme más español, digo. <risa> no, lo que estoy tratando de hacer es, es como aprenderme más los verbos. Las bueno, entonces, el hecho de que haya hablado inglés la motiva a aprender más. Bueno, entonces he logrado mi objetivo. <risa> <risa> sí, para no quedarme tan en la luna cuando me... Ah, hombre, pero entonces he, he, he ganado, he logrado mi objetivo. So, that's okay. <risa> Sí. No, Roxana, now, so if you don't have any other questions, so you can, you know, what is the song? You can close your eyes and go to your bed, Roxana. <laughs> okay. So, don't you have any other question? No. No. Okay. So you can go then to your bed because you feel tired. Good night, teacher. Good night, Roxana. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Finish with 15.